So at this point, I set up the Jetty Radio, uh, bound the receiver, uh, downloaded the uh, proper software for the uh, Mac uh, computer along with the Mac uh, driver. So now it is time to uh, go through the setup wizard for the uh, Spirit unit. So the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to connect the uh, cable supplied with the Spirit unit. And this uh, will be connected to the SI or SYS uh, port, okay? And we always connect the black wire towards the uh, away from from the unit. Okay, that's just the way things are connected here. And the obviously the other end of the uh, USB cable we are going to connect to the um, uh, computer USB port. All right. So once that's connected, then we are going to uh, connect power to the spirit unit. And uh, very, very important is that you never connect power to either the elevator pitch aileron port or the SYS port. That, that'll kill the unit. So all the other pins you can connect power to, but not, not to the uh, end pins. Uh, I am going to connect power to the Spirit Pro unit, and I will use the AUX1 port to connect power. So I'm going to wait for this light to be not blinking but completely solid so now that it is solid it tells me that the unit uh, initialized and only after the unit uh, has initialized then that's when I can actually uh, start the uh, uh, the program at least that's the way it works with the uh, uh, with the Mac uh, I don't know if it works the same way with the, with the PC but uh, probably something similar to that so let's uh, you know start the um, the program on the Mac. I'm actually just gonna bring this down here just to make things a little easier to see with the video. Um, uh, this unit has already been set up, but you know what? Let's do a co complete setup right from the get-go. So we're gonna uh, do a setup with wizard. Uh, you know, it tells me a lot of stuff there. I'm gonna put uh, uh, next. We're using the uh, uh, Jetty uh, uh, Xbox, so that's what I'm going to choose here. I'm gonna click on uh, next and here it tells me how to make the actual connections now uh, so this this looks a little busy but uh, what it comes uh, uh, down to is that uh, I have to connect this uh, one single uh, wire to the elevator pitch aileron port to the actual uh, to this port down here not another one outside but the inside and the uh, uh, red and black wires, they will go into the RUD port uh, towards the outside. So um, let's see how that uh, connects uh, uh, here. All right. So again, you know, the, um, and by the way, all, all this is is just, uh, 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 just a regular wire that I, you know, sort of split into uh, uh, two different connectors. Okay, this is just not, nothing special here. So um, the one single wire will connect, I guess, to the aileron uh, port, right? And we do it uh, that way. Oops. And uh, this uh, black and red will connect to the uh, uh, RUD uh, port. Okay. So that's how how you make uh, 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 that connection, All right? So that's what we have uh, uh, here. And at this point, uh, let's see, I'm going to click on next. Um, I will, uh, for, for this particular helicopter, I am going to have um, the pins uh, oriented forward. And, you know, here, uh, normally it defaults to this mode, but for my particular helicopter, the uh, elevator uh, servo is towards the front, so I need to uh, do the following. And for the default for the model, I can just leave it at default. But since I'm going to use uh, uh, MSH uh, Protos Max, I might as well just use that. It, it just sets up some gains uh, by, by, by using the actual helicopter preset. It sets up some gains that are better as a default than the, the default helicopter option. At this point, this is where I connect the uh, uh, where I set up the servos. So uh, uh, I'm using uh, 
high quality servo so um, I'm, I'm using um, uh, just a regular pulse rate of cyclic for the 1520 and the frequency that's the highest that it'll be 333 and obviously you have to look at the uh, the servo specs to choose um, the appropriate pulse and the frequency and for the tail servo this uh, 760 is pretty standard for good servos uh, my servos are the experts they actually go to 800 Hertz refresh rate and so 760 that's the max I'll, I'll leave it there uh, this down here uh, kind of tells you how the servos are connected so we so rudder is always four elevator is always two and then it's up to you where you uh, put the uh, the two left and right cyclic servos to channel one and channel three um, I'm gonna click, click uh, next uh, at this point I am going to um, uh, disconnect the uh, power. I don't like to, to uh, connect the servos uh, use uh, while well, everything is powered up so I'm going to disconnect power. Um, I'm going to connect the uh, tail um, uh, servo to uh, channel 4 and again uh, these uh, are all black wires but you can tell that there's a, a negative here so that's that should be what the actual black wire should be. I will connect that to 4 I already decided that this was going to be channel uh, servo number three. So um, uh, servo number three goes into uh, the three slot. Elevator is always two, and that'll go into uh, uh, slot number two. And the servo is number one, and I will connect that to the number uh, one uh, slot. Uh, the I guess a uh, 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 channel zero that's for uh, helicopters that use four cyclic servos like the only one I can think of right now off the top of my head is the Velos but uh, but normally we you know we don't use this channel the zero other than maybe for power or whatever I am also going to connect uh, the other end of the uh, of this wire uh, you know, for the uh, receiver, I'm going to connect this to uh, port number uh, seven or E2. That's the one I usually use for uh, for the Spirit. And uh, and now, uh, finally, we're going to uh, connect uh, power. All right, now that all the connections are are placed, I'm going to connect power. And oops, I connected uh, the wrong way. Uh, here we go. I'm going to wait for the uh, the light to uh, be completely solid. So, in other words, letting let it initialize. And now that it is uh, initialized, now I'm going to uh, uh, connect again. So this is still in, in uh, uh, part um, uh, four. So we're connected. We can go to the next uh, step. Now for this next step, uh, we're going to go to layout. See the um, there's always two channels that are, are unassigned, that's the throttle and the banks. So we are going to assign a throttle to channel 1 and the bank to uh, channel 7. So this is pretty easy, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There's not, not much to do there. Uh, for these uh, functions, these are sort of advanced uh, uh, functions. Uh, this is, we're going to keep this as a basic setup. This, these are, are, we'll save that for, say, another video, maybe. Um, so now we are in five. 